Good morning all. I hope you are doing well in your studies and watched all the videos of this channel. If not, please do so and subscribe the channel as well. So in today's video, we will be doing mathematical functions in Java which are there in the syllabus of class 9th and 10th ICSC. So mathematical functions in Java, these are the built-in functions which are provided in the package java.lang and all these functions are stored in math class. So that is why whenever we use any function, we write math before the function name and keep in mind that m of math is always written in capital now by seeing most of the function names only you can make out that for which purpose this function is meant now we begin with the first function math.min and this min normally we use for minimum value so math.min function returns the minimum of the two values given to it. If let's see the example math.min 5 comma 3 the minimum of these two is 3. So n will store the value 3. Similarly 2.5 3.2 out of these two 2.5 is the minimum value and if we take negative numbers minus 3.75 and minus 2.95 minus 3.75 is the smaller value out of these two values. So each function returns one result depending upon what is executed, what is written in its body according to that one value the function returns. Now which type of value the function will return that is known as the return type of the function and math.min function the return type of this function depends upon the argument type. If we are giving integers, it will return int. If we are passing on double value, it will return double, float, then float. So, the return type of min function depends upon the argument which we are giving to the function while executing. Next, we have math.max function. Max for maximum. Maximum of two values is returned using math.max function. Max of 15 and 3, answer is 15. Math.max of 12.5 and 13.2, answer is 13.2. Math.max of minus 13.95 and minus 12.95, the answer will be 12.95. Again, for this function, the return type depends upon the argument type. Depending upon the argument which you are passing to this function, the return type will be, if we are giving integers, answer will be in int, float, then float. If it is byte type, then answer will be in byte type. Before moving forward, I will just tell you that we have one PDF also, which is given in the description box. Please download that and solve that. And answers are also there. For any help, you can comment in the comment entry section. Next, we have POW function, which will always return double value. POW is something related to power. So, this function is used to calculate the power value of the given number. 3.0 comma 2.0, that means 3 to the power 2. So, the answer will be 9.0. It will not give you 9. Even if I write 3 comma 2, then also answer will be 9.0 because it always returns the answer in double type. Next example, math.pow 5.0 comma minus 2.0. That means 5 to the power minus 2, that means 1 upon 5 to the power 2. So if you will calculate this 1 upon 25, this will come 0 0.04. Right? Is it clear? Next we have math.sqrt function. In maths also you do under root or square root. Similarly, this function also calculates the square root value of the given number. Again, in math.sqrt function, we pass on only one argument and it calculates the square root value of that. Always 
remember that this value should be a positive value only and the return type of this function is double. So if I give math.sqrt of 16.0 answer will be 4.0. 4.0 is the square root value of 16.0. Next if you give math.sqrt of 6.25 answer will be 2.5. Now next if I try to give a negative number math.sqrt of minus 5.25 then the output which it will generate is NAN. Uh, we cannot calculate the square root of a negative number so the output is NAN that is not a number. Next function we have math.cbrt. Math.cbrt returns double value. CBRT is used for finding the cube root. Cube root of a negative or a positive number. If I give math.cbrt of 27, the answer will be 3.0. It always returns double type value. And if I give math.cbrt of minus 8, then the answer will be minus 2.0. Remember SQRT does not calculate the square root of a negative number but CBRT function can calculate the cube root of negative as well as the positive number. Next we have math.abs function. ABS returns the absolute value of the given number. That means only the magnitude. It just removes the sign. If it is positive, positive is removed. If it is negative, negative is removed. Only the value it returns. Math.abs of minus 3 will be 3. Math.abs of 2.75 will be 2.75. Minus 7.5 answer will be 7.5. So the return type depends upon the argument type. If argument is integer, it will return integer. If it is double, double, float, float, byte. Whatever is the argument type depending upon that the return type of ABS function will be there. Next we have math.seal and math.floor functions. These two functions I, I have written together on the screen so that the difference is more clear to you. Both the functions return double type value. Seal ko aap yaad rakhoge, sealing fancy. Floor means down, seal means up, right? So if I have written math.seal of my 3.2 for math.seal and math.floor the same number I have taken. Now how to check the floor and seal value 3.2 iske aas paas ke kaun se do values hai integers wo hum likhenge 3.0 or 4.0 I have written in 0 0.0 because the return type is double. So here 3.0 is just below this and 4.0 is just next nearest highest integer, nearest lowest integer. So, is me aapko 4.0 will be the answer for math.seal and 3.0 will be the answer for math.floor. So, nearest highest integer is the return value of seal function. Nearest lowest integer is the return value of floor function but in double type. Now see if I write this negative. If I put a negative sign here then how you will calculate the value seal of minus 3.2 and floor of minus 3.2. So the nearest values around this is minus 3.0 and minus 4.0. Now which is the lowest value out of these two is minus 4.0. So the result of floor function will be minus 4.0 and the result of seal function will be minus 3.0. So remember seal function returns the nearest highest integer and floor function returns the nearest lowest integer. But Return type is double. So always you will write the answer 0, 0.0. Whatever answer you are getting, 0, 0.0 should be mentioned. Next function is math.log which calculates the natural logarithm of the given number. 
answer of this function is also always double type. You don't have to learn the logarithm value for all. But for this particular function, I would like to suggest you that you just remember the return type and how this function is used, the syntax, the format of the function. So if I give math.log of 6.25, answer aega 1.8325. इसको आपको याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है केवल आप इतना ध्यान रखिए कि फंक्शन कैसे यूज हो रहा है और कौन सी रिटर्न टाइप आंसर में आएगी नेक्स्ट फंक्शन वी हैव मैथ डॉट आर आई एन टी फंक्शन नाउ दिस फंक्शन रिटर्न द ट्रंकेटेड वैल्यू द इंटीग्रल वैल्यू इन डबल टाइप इफ इट इज आर आई एन टी ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट जीरो 7.0 will be the answer. 7.5 again here 7.0. So in this function from point 0 to point 0.5 are included and for point 0.5 also the integral value only is returned by this. But if I write the value after decimal is more than point 0.5 then the next integral value is returned. Math dot R I N T of 8.9, the answer will be 9.0. Math dot R I N T of minus 7.5, here answer will be minus 8.0 in negative numbers. If it is 0.5 or more after decimal, the next value is taken. And if it is minus 7.4, it returns the same integral value that is minus 7.0 is the answer. Please do all these with more examples. PDF is attached. Check in the description box. Download it. Take out the printout. And any problem, please do comment. Next we have math.round function. It rounds of the value and returns the answer in integer or long type. We have few examples here. Let's go through them. Math.round of 7.0 answer will be 7. 7.5 will be 8. 8.9 will be 9. Minus 7.5 is minus 7. Now see these two. Round of 7.5 is next integer. And minus 7.5 is the same integer value. And minus 7.4 is also minus 7. So if it is from 0 0.0 to less than 0.5, it returns the same integer value. And if it is 0.5 or more, then next integer value is returned. But in case of negative number, if it is 0.5 also, then same integral value is returned. Now, the last function of today's video is math.random which returns a double type value. As the random name is there, so this function returns a number generated randomly between 0 and 1. If I execute this function 10 times, then also every time it will return a different value. Suppose the first time answer is 0 0.32539756 like this. If again second time I will execute it, it will return 3942567. Next, if I use this again, then the answer will be like this. So every time you use this function, the return value will be different which will range between 0 and 1. So random function generate karta hai ek number randomly 0 or 1 ke beech mein. Again I am telling you, is mein ek pdf bhi hai description box mein, usko download ki jiye. Aur iske next video mein hum is pe based kuch questions karenge. So all the best, God bless you.